Hi crypto fans, welcome back here with more news on the Bitcoin. Today we're looking into more news and why the Bitcoin is going to succeed in 2024 and why it's going to be a bullish year for it and one of the most successful ones and the positive ones for Bitcoin. Let's discuss all of the information while we are still in a consolidation and not much news we have for it now. So first of all, what do we have? We have a comparison of a Bitcoin versus other uh, currencies and how Bitcoin is a global store of value and proving to be an important asset for plebs experiencing hyperinflation. Notice how the Nigerian Naira, Turkish Lira and Argentine Peso are all currently experiencing all-time lows in terms of a big one and we could possibly see through the years how it started going down, how the currencies are going down massively, how they are not surviving at all and Bitcoin is still stable within 100% as a store of value and compared to Bitcoin these currencies are actually falling massively and they are not stable at all as we could see the value decreases all the time and continues decreasing on the long term and they are not stable at all compared to Bitcoin so Bitcoin is a store of value and you need to understand that Happy 110th birthday Federal Reserve, imagine that they created their Federal Reserve only two days before Christmas. I wonder why, probably so that nobody would notice. 34 trillion dollars and 110 years later we have Bitcoin. We should all be, we should all be thankful for this moment. As Bitcoin has reached the overhead resistance at $44,715 where the bears are pos posing a tough challenge. A major advantage in favor of the bulls is that they have not ceded much ground to the bears. Although the moving averages indicate advantage of buyers and the negative divergence on the every side warrants caution. If the price turns up from the current level or the 20 day EMA and rises above the 44,700 it will indicate the start of the next lag of the of the uptrend and the Bitcoin price could rally to 48,000 and eventually to $50,000. As well as, congrats surviving the bear market, enjoy some time off with your family, next year will be crazy. 2024 marks the start of a new cycle. January 2024, Bitcoin spot ETF in USA. April 2024, the halving. 20, June, June 2024, uh, Q&A by the Fed. December 2024, FASB, FAVA becomes active. Also, here's the summary of the 2020 cycle. We could see all of that. So, what happened? Bitcoin price is 9.5 thousand. Uh, so, uh, the halving happened. Sailor buys his first coin. Tesla buys 43,000 bitcoins. The price goes to 60,000. Uh, the elite panics uh, and creates FUD. China bans mining. The price falls to 31,000. Lots of people got liquidated. Uh, so, it's from 2020 to 2021. September 2021, Elf Silver. Door Bitcoin legal tender. October futures uh, ETF gets approved. In November the price goes to 67,000. The elites panics and create FUD. Uh, May 2022 Luna crash, uh, Celsius crash, Hodlound beats fake Toshi. November FTX crash. November uh, price falls to 15.9 thousand. Lots of people got liquidated. July 2023 BlackRock applies for ETF. Fair value accounting. October Grayscale wins over SEC. November MSTR owns 158,000 Bitcoin. November, Binance got regulated. Uh, Bitcoin president in Argentina. And December 2023 at 43,000, it's up 163% year to date and 352% since the halving. And the 2024 is about to be a bullish year, as a Bitcoin to have a positive 2024 due to the metrics. So, Bitcoin could have a positive 2024. As similarly, network metrics show a medium term price target and cycle peak of 54,000 and 160,000 respectively, when the former representi representing a price resistance for 2021 2022. Bitcoin's possible surge to 54,000 and above could be triggered by the upcoming halving, which has a track record of propelling several bull runs, and a halving event will slash miners' block rewards by 50%, reducing the rate at which Bitcoin is produced daily. And during the last cycle, Bitcoin Bitcoin's price increased eight times after the halving and the asset has also rallied for one to 1.5 years following the event on several occasions. In addition, the Fed's expectation of lower interest rates in 2024 due to declining inflation could help Bitcoin stay positive. That's all the information we got on the Bitcoin today and if you are interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.